How Apple Revolutionized the Tech Industry From personal computers to the iPhone, Apple has changed our lives, for good or bad. From their founding in 1976, to the release of the famous first Macintosh, all the way to the release of the first iPhone in 2007, Apple seems to lead the way in technological innovations, and thus, platforms in which we are able to surf the World Wide Web. Welcome to Iconic. If you enjoy this type of content, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any of our latest and greatest uploads. How It All Started in 1976, Apple Computers was founded by Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs. With it, they were able to create the first Apple I, made from parts at Atari, and sold to Byte Shop for 50 units at $500 each. One year later, in 1977, Apple Computer II, the first personal computer with color graphics, is demonstrated. Little did they know that this company would be a juggernaut in the creation of home computers and eventually access to the internet for every individual. Apple and Microsoft set off on an arms race to see who would create the better computer and pushing the technology of computers and the internet to the max. How Apple Revolutionized the Tech Industry 1. The iPhone put the internet in everyone's pocket. When Steve Jobs first unveiled the iPhone, he described it as, quote, a revolutionary mobile phone, a widescreen iPod with touch controls, and a breakthrough internet communications device. While it's called the iPhone, it's that last part, the internet device that has had the biggest effect on the world. 2. The iPhone transformed photography from a hobby to a part of everyday life. Smartphones, along with their attendant photo editing apps, put good cameras in everyone's pockets, and we all became prolific photographers. The simultaneous rise of social media platforms, in turn, gave us a place and a reason to post our photos. 3. The iPhone App Store changed the way software was created and distributed. Apple launched its App Store in 2008, a year after the iPhone's launch with 500 apps. Now, there are 2.1 million on the App Store and 3.4 million on its Android competitor Google Play, according to top app measurement company App Annie. Apps have turned phones into everything from a bank to a motion-sensitive video game device. Indeed, a warehouse of nostalgia could be stuffed with the everyday items that smartphones replaced. Maps, flashlights, clocks, scanners, video cameras, calendars, calculators, computers, iPods, and more. In the first quarter of 2017, the combined publisher revenue for downloads and in-app purchases on the App Store and Google Play grew to $10.5 billion, not including revenue from in-app advertising or commerce, such as Amazon purchases or Uber rides. 4. iPhone apps changed everything, even how people work. On-demand work began with the first internet boom in the late 1990s. But their numbers didn't become substantial until the advent of smartphones with GPS chips and on-demand marketplace apps like Uber. Currently, there are about 4 million on-demand workers in the US, a number that is expected to double in the next four years. Apple products that are expected to launch in the future. Since the past few years, Apple has emerged as a leading tech and product manufacturing giant who has stood out with its sheer innovation and quality of products. With its inventions and meticulous attention to detail, Apple has become a trendsetter. 1. Larger iMac After the release of the 24-inch iMac, rumors say that Apple is now working on a larger iMac, expected to have a display size ranging between 27 and 32 inches with a mini-LED display. The screen is expected to have slimmer bezels and may support XDR and promotion. Other than the increase in display size, the new iMac is expected to get a top-end M1 chip such as the M1 Pro or M1 Max, or any chip from the upcoming M2 series. But rumors suggest that we won't see it until 2023. 2. AR slash VR headset Bloomberg first reported in 2017 that Apple plans to launch its AR headset in 2020 sometime. The same year, Financial Times suggested that Apple plans on launching its AR glasses with 3D cameras. Apple confirmed in 2019 that it is working on some kind of augmented reality device, adding fire to the rumors. Q1 
Kuo believes that AR glasses will be heavily dependent on iPhones, just like the first generation of Apple Watches. Apple is probably working on reducing the weight of the glasses, because they need to not weigh more than standard glasses, but have to manage the hardware with the same weight. In the previous years, Apple has filed many patents claiming new technologies to provide 3D virtual views of a user's environment with virtual content. 3. Affordable iPad Many rumors are circulating that Apple is working on an affordable version of the iPad to expand the market share, which they have already been dominating. These rumors are only on the cloud, and we may not hear anything regarding this from Apple, at least for this year. 4. Apple Car Apple had announced autonomous cars in 2015. Since then, we've heard a lot of rumors regarding the same. These autonomous cars are expected to be electric cars, operating on battery sources, and might even go solar in their energy consumption. Apple will likely have to tie up with Hyundai to produce these cars by 2024 and get them into the market by 2030. However, Apple did seek permission to test 200 cars in 2017 in California under the name Project Titan. Apple cars look promising and support Apple's vision of going carbon neutral by 2030. We admire one rumor in particular, which is the use of Apple ID as car keys. The car also claims to feature the infamous LiDAR scanners. 5. Foldable iPhones Apple has been planning to launch foldable iPhones in the coming two years, which will be two screens connected with a hinge. Despite the hinge, the iPhone looks flawless and doesn't seem to look like two screens connected. A Taiwanese website, Economic Daily News, has also claimed that two of these models passed durability tests earlier, completed at the Foxconn factory in Shenzhen, China. Other than that, rumors suggest that Apple is also working on a foldable MacBook. But as of now, we don't have much info on either of the foldable devices from Apple. Steve Jobs and co-founder Steve Wozniak – How It All Began Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, the duo who began Apple computers in 1976, are among the most well-known revolutionaries of the computing age. Their invention of the first true personal computer changed people's ideas of what a computer could look like and what it could do to make their lives easier and their work more efficient. Apple continues to be one of the most popular brands of personal computing devices in the world. Jobs became bent on starting a company of his own to build computers for individuals, and he convinced Wozniak to start it with him. They sold some of their prized belongings. For Jobs, a Volkswagen minibus, and for Wozniak, a programmable HP calculator to raise $1,300 to launch the enterprise. They built their first machines in Jobs' family garage in 1976. With Wozniak's computing and software genius and Jobs' marketing prowess, success came relatively quickly. They sold their first 50 machines to a dealer called The Byte Shop in Mountain View, California. Dubbed Apple Ones, the computers sold for $666 each. They were the first single-board computers with onboard read-only memory, or ROM. They also had a video interface. A year later, in 1977, Jobs and Wozniak introduced the Apple II, which included color graphics and housed its electronics inside a plastic case. Programmers began creating applications for the Apple II at Jobs' urging. Soon, there were more than 15,000 applications available for the machine. This was the first mass-marketed personal computer, and it took Apple to a new realm of success. The company secured $600,000 venture funding under the management of Mike Markula, a former Intel executive who signed on as Apple's chairman. Tim Cook being the next CEO of Apple after Steve stepped down On August 24, 2011, Apple co-founder Steve Jobs announced his resignation as Apple CEO, six weeks before his death. Tim Cook now seems to have been his obvious successor, but back then he was an unexpected and even controversial choice. Steve Jobs' resignation followed a previous leave of absence from the company starting in January 2011, during which Cook had served as acting CEO. His stepping down was the unmistakable end of an era for the company, and a very different departure from the first time Jobs left Apple in 1985. Apple engineering designer Johnny Ive after nearly 30 years at Apple and becoming the most influential designer, Jonathan Ive decided to pursue, quote, personal projects, but not completely, as he started his own design firm that will have Apple as its first client starting from 2020. 
The design consultancy counted Apple among its clients, and the American company offered him a full-time position a few years later, after seeing his sketch for a proto-iPad, a tablet Mac called the Macintosh Folio with a stylus and adjustable screen. But it was only after Jobs returned as CEO of the company in 1997 that the real impact of his creativity began to be felt. His whole work has been influenced by Dieter Ram's 10 Principles of Good Design. Functionality and minimalism are reflected in Jonathan Ives' very sense of style and public appearance. Enchanted by the creative process, Mr. Ives settled his leadership role with the design of the iMac that debuted in 1998 with an alluring rounded exterior in translucent candy colors, seducing more than 2 million clients that year. Ive is the one who pushed Apple to embrace white products, even if Jobs was initially against it, and firmly believed in making their potent, phenomenal technology smaller, better, and more reliable. Examples of this are the desktop computers, laptops, and white headphones that differentiated the iPod users in a simple yet powerful way. Ive's new company, reportedly launching in 2020, is co-founded together with his fellow Apple designer Mark Newson, who has worked with some of the top brands in the world. And with that, we've reached the end of this video all about how Apple revolutionized the tech industry. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for content just like it.